I am going to give an example on absolute value double inequality. So, absolute value of 2x minus 1 is greater than 3 and less than or equal to 7. How to solve this double inequality problem? First of all, we should separate this into two separate inequality. So, first one will be this one. Second one will be this one. Okay, if I write this here. Okay. Two x minus one and x minus 1 7 so this is the first part this is the second part and joint by and not or okay if you solve first part and second part separately okay let's solve first part first part first part 3 less than absolute value 2x minus 1. So if I show this on a number line, this is the number line. Okay, so this is the origin. This is 3. This is negative 3. Distance from the origin to 2x minus 1 must be greater than 3. In this case, so this is distance 3, both sides, 3. So, this is the region. So, 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1 must be here and here. So, that goes negative infinity. This will go up to positive infinity. So we solve this again by case method. Case 1 case 1 and case 2. If you look at the figure case 1 will be 2x minus 1 less than negative 3 case 2 2x minus 1 must be greater than positive 3. So what should we, how can we join these two inequality? We should join by or, not, not and. Why it is by or? Because those two inequality disjoint, there is no intersection. That is why we use OR. So if I work the case 1, I get this score as a positive negative 2. Then X will be less than negative 1. Okay, I can write OR, OR, OR. For, okay, negative 1 goes a positive other side 2X. This will be the case 2. So if I combine case 1 and case 2 on a number line, so this is origin, one, two, three, negative 1, negative 2, less than negative 1, so basically this, this one, more than positive 2. Uh, so, final result for the case 1, x less than negative 1, or x greater than positive 2. This is the result of first part. Okay. If we do second part, okay, let's do this is 
second part. So second part, this one, the right side of end. So two x minus one, seven. If I put this to on the number line, okay, this is the number line. So this is origin, negative seven, positive seven. So distance from origin. 7 distance from origin 7 basically distance from the origin to 2x minus 1 must be less than or equal to 7 so in this case this is the so close that because there is equal sign here this is we are looking this area so 2x minus 1 must be in between. Okay, so if we separate this to case one, case two again, case one, case two. So case one, negative seven, two x minus one, case two, two x minus one, must be less than equal to positive 7. Okay, how can we join this? We use AND or OR. In this case, we use AND. Why we use AND? Because this means from negative 7, okay, if I show here, this means from negative 7 to uh, greater than negative 7, so go to positive infinity. This means from positive 7 go to negative infinity. So they intersect each other. That is the reason we should use AND instead of OR. Okay, if I solve case 1 I get negative 6 2x negative 3 x so and and for the right uh, case 2 2 x go as a positive 8 x will be 4 ok if I put this information on the number line so ok Zero. This is four. Okay, this is negative three. So this one so close that greater than negative three go up to positive infinity. This one greater than equal negative 3. This is uh, less than or equal positive 4. So it will go like this. Okay, I can use different color. So this is the intersection because we use AND. Okay, based on this information, what is the final result for second part? Okay, I don't have room. I just erase this. Negative 3 x 4. Okay, just in case I put here, I put here. So this is the solution for part 2. So, if we uh, to find the final answer, we should combine uh, part one and part two. This is joined by and. Okay, so I just want to erase this. I need to find to get a room 
for this. Okay, so final answer. I just keep these answers. So I can remove the rest. Combine the result, first part and second part. So if I draw a number line again, so this is zero. than 2 ok second part so we get negative 3 so close that positive 4 so I go close that again so in between because this again joined by end so we should get intersection so when we look here, how we get intersection? This is the intersection. So final result will be negative 3 x negative 1 or 2 Okay, x positive 4. This is the final result of this inequality. Okay, you, it might be confusing that in which situation we use and, in which situation we use or. So, in my opinion, as a general rule, if expression in absolute value this way, okay, I just, so if this is the way, if inequality sim symbol point to the number of expression without absolute value, Okay. In this case, we use OR, if this is the way we use OR. If inequality symbol points to the expression inside the uh, bars or expression with absolute value, so in this case, we use and okay I just check again yes this is correct we use and okay thank thank you very much watching my video bye